Sometimes with selection, you want to um, have more than one check to decide whether you're going to run some code or not. Um, the example I'm going to use here is with getting the user to type in a number. So I've made a variable called num1. I've asked the user to type in a number between 1 and 100, and I have saved what they type in into the num1 variable. I've given it that value of whatever the user typed in. Now, I want now to check um, if the user has entered a number between 1 and 100. If they have, I want to say thank you. If they haven't, I want to say you must enter a number between 1 and 100. Now, that means there are two conditions I've got to check. I've got to check the number is, more, is greater than 0 or greater than or equal to 1, and I've got to check the number is less than 1 or 1, or less than or equal to 100. I've got to check both of those. So, there are two different ways of doing this, and we're going to use what we call Boolean logic, or Boolean operators here. We're going to use them one at a time, and the first one we're going to use is called AND. So I'm going to set up two checks in my if, two conditions. With an AND, all the conditions that you set up must be true. So, my first check, if num num1 is less than or equal to 0, then. So that checks the number in num1 to check that it's less, if it's less than or equal to 0. Before the then, I'm going to put and num1 is, hang on, got that wrong, that should be more than or equal to 0, it's got to be 0 or more, and num1 is less than or equal to 100 then. So it will check this, it will check num1 to see if it's more than or equal to 0 and if it's less than or equal to 100. If both of those are true, then it goes on to do this line, which is going to be the console.write line. Thank you. Else, console.write line. I should take this text from up here. You must. Enter a number between 1 and 100. So now when I'm testing this, I need to test that I can type in minus 1 and it'll give me that error message. I can type in 0 and it'll give me that message. I can type in 100, it'll give me that message. And I can type in 101 and it'll give me that message because I'm testing the boundaries. And that's really good practice when you're testing your program. But what you need to be clear on is that both of these conditions, greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 100, are true in order to get that line out of your program. So let's try minus one. This should give me an error. You must enter a number between one and hundred. Again, we haven't got loops, so I can try again yet. But we're getting, we're building up to it. Let's try zero. That should be accepted. Thank you. Let's try one hundred, which should be accepted. Thank you. And let's try 101, which should be rejected. There we go. So I've tested the boundaries, and it looks like it's working. Okay. That's how to use AND. If we were going to use OR as our Boolean operator, only one of the conditions must be true. So we could do this check in a different way. By changing this here. So now, if num now we're going to check if the number, instead of being right, if it's wrong, so if it's less than or equal to zero, or it's more than or equal to 100. So it, can, it can't be less than zero and more than 100 at the same time, but it can be one or two, one of it, one or either. And what I need to do then is swap my messages around, because if it's less than or equal to zero, or it's more than or equal to 100, that means you need an error message because it's not the right number. So in this one, it's either got, that's going to be true, 
all that starts to be true. Both of them, if you think about it, it's impossible that a number can be less than zero and more than 100 at the same time. So let's just check it. And then we more than 100, minus 1. And I'll just check 1. For allowable number, let's try 100. Ah, greater than equal to. Let's get rid of the equal to. There we go, it's got to be less than zero or more than 100. 100 is acceptable, but I'd put it an error message if it was equal to 100 as well. So let's try 100. You can see I'm testing there, help me catch an error. There we go, thank you. So that's how to use AND and OR to set up Just double checks. You can carry on, you can have another OR, another OR, another OR, another OR, as many as you need. Another AND, another AND, another AND, as many as you need. It's important that you understand the way you use AND, every single condition must be true. If you're using OR, only one of the conditions you set up is 